Hello and welcome. This is TMI Socials. Another day for you to be abreast with the latest of trending information in the social media world. My name is Anulua Kor Stevens, your social media guide here to take you on the wondrous adventures journey. Now, an update from yesterday. The Nigerian Safety Investigation Bureau says it is collaborating with its United States counterparts, the National Transportation Safety Board, to intensify investigation on the helicopter that caused the death of Herbert Wigwe and five others. A spokesperson for the NSIB, Bimbo Oladiji, disclosed this in a statement yesterday. Wigwe, who until his death was the group chief executive officer of Access Holdings, his wife, son, Former group chairman of the Nigerian Exchange Group PLC, Abimbola Ogumbanjo, and some others were on board the ill fettered Airbus EC 130B4 helicopter. Now, meanwhile, tributes have been pouring in over the death of the group executive officer of Access Holdings, Herbert Wigwe, and five others who died in a helicopter crash in the United States. Now, amongst them are former Vice President Atikwa Bubakar, of course, our President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, Labour Party's Pital B, the Director General of the World Trade Organization, Ungwazi Okonjo Iwaila, Chairman of the Grigu Par PLC, Femi Utedola, amongst others. Now, let's have a tweet of our President as he did pay tribute to Herbert Wigwe. Now he says, I am shocked and deeply distressed by the news of the passing of Mr. Herbert Wigwe, a distinguished banker, humanitarian, and entrepreneur, and Mr. Mbimbola Ogumbanjo, the former group chairman of the Nigerian Exchange Group PLC, along with members of the Wigwe family, Herbert's wife, Chizoba, and son, Chizi. Their passing is an overwhelming tragedy that is shocking beyond comprehension. I extend my condolences to the Wigwe and Ogumbanjo families, the business community, and all of those impacted by this harrowing incident. I pray for the peaceful repose of the departed and ask God Almighty to comfort the multitude of Nigerians who are grieving, and of course, the families of the departed as well now let's have another tweet as well to this particular story i also remember that atikwa bubaka also did pay his tribute as well to this one as he says in the words of one of nigeria's finest ceos habit wigwe today and always let us remember that life is a precious gift a chance to breathe feel, love, experience, and connect. Let us honor this gift by living with purpose, kindness, and gratitude, making every moment count. Let us number our days. And then he went ahead to say, I am deeply saddened to hear about the unfortunate incident that led to the loss of Herbert Wigwe, Group Chief Executive Officer of Access Holdings PLC and his family. Indeed, Habit Wigwe, consuming banker, education promoter, and philanthropist, numbered his days. On behalf of my family, my heart goes out to their loved ones and everyone affected by this unfortunate incident. May their souls rest in peace. Amen. Still on persons paying tributes, Ungazi Okonjo Ewala has this to say. Terribly saddened by the news of the terrible loss of Herbert Wigwe, Group CEO Access Bank, his wife and son, as well as Bimbo Ogumbanjo in a helicopter crash. My deepest sympathies and condolences to Wigwe family, the Ogumbanjo family, Access Bank Group employees and management, and my younger brother, Herbert's partner, Aigboje. May the souls of the departed rest in perfect peace. Amen. Now, finally, 
Femi Otedola, one of his amazing friends, says, I am shocked and saddened to hear of the loss of a banking genius, Herbert Wigwe, his dear wife, Chizoba, and first son, Chizi. Exactly two weeks ago, Herbie and his wife hosted myself and Aliko at, uh, to Adina at his newly built home in Lagos. I will cherish and fondly remember my memories of time spent together with him over the years. Hubby, we will all miss you. Your legacy will live on forever. My heartfelt condolences goes out to his children, Tochi, Hannah, and David. I pray God comforts them during this tragic time. May the souls of the departed rest in peace. Amen. Now, as the nation mourns the loss of Group Chief Executive Officer of Access Holden PLC and philanthropist Herbert Wigwe, who passed on in a tragic helicopter crash alongside his wife and son. Isiopo, his hometown in the Ikwede local government area of River State, has declared seven days of mourning in honor of their illustrious son. Starting tomorrow, the seven days of mourning will witness the closure of all businesses on the first day and of course the last day as well with half day operations on the other days. Now also developing story as well as regards this particular issue, also to let you know that as we speak, Access Bank PLC have finally, you know, put in on board an acting CEO, a woman, and controversies have been trailing that particular, you know, act saying it's quite too early. Why do we move on so easily? Can't you give the family at least a week or two weeks before you do all of that? Anyway, to pay another tribute again, let's have a feel of Habert during one of his philanthropic period. Take a look. Can you see the circumstance of what you see around you today to ever determine your future? You did this one? Mm -hmm. eh? Well done. Well done. What would you do? Open a savings account with 100,000 men. Keep your values intact because you have chosen to go to school you'll be different from those who have chosen not to go to school and you'll see it more and more if you have younger brothers and sisters bring them out let them go to school that is how to change a family you should work with people who aspire to do well okay, so what i'll do now i'll send you people some computers eh? so may the soul of all the departed rest in peace amen now moving over to another story Adams Oshomole was trending as well, the senator representing Edo North. As he said, Nigerians are still suffering the consequences of the reckless policies of former President Mohamed Buhari. Speaking during an interview on a national television on Sunday, Oshomole said President Bola Tinubu should not be held responsible for the right or wrong decisions taken by the previous administration. Now, during this interview, the senator was asked if it is not his party, the All Progressive Congress APC, that has brought Nigeria to its current economic depression. Oshomole responded by saying he always places national interest above partisan interest. Other than that, he criticized the administration of Buhari for some of its policies. Now let's get your reactions on the story. Meet the Jesus says, same you said Buhari was the best thing that has ever happened to Nigerians. Jennifer Lamy also reacts and says, remember how they were blaming good luck Jonathan for years. Mm. Don't you remember? Uh, Zadi Oko says, the same as Shumule who played good luck Jonathan when Buhari was in par. And he's laughing out loud there. And finally on the story, Governor's Cousins on Instagram says, Leaders, they blame leaders. Who we citizens go blame? Question. And finally, blame Jonathan, blame Buhari. The next person will say, blame Tinubu. If you can't, please leave for who can work better. When a team isn't playing well, they sack the coach, not blame the previous one. Hmm. 
interesting time, I would say, again, on social media. Now, President Bola Tinubu says there are plans to expand food production through aggressive mechanism in the country. According to a statement issued by Ajiri Ungalale, presidential spokesperson, Tinubu, who spoke on Sunday when he received a delegation from the Global Taiya Movement, led by Muhammadu Nasi, at the presidential villa in Abuja had that to say. The president said his administration will transform agriculture to make Nigeria self-sufficient in food production and exportation. Let's see your reactions real quickly. Right, this user, Nina Licious Food, says, Stop saying what you will do and just do it. Action speaks louder than words. Yes, indeed. Another reaction. Food whenever it reach us. That is what you want to expect, Mr. President. Now, finally, on the story. Agriculture graduates are coming out from universities every year in large numbers, yet no jobs or funding for them to start up. Instead, you are making us change career path or even school again because there is no hope for them. No jobs, even Ministry of Agriculture in some states are in dilapidated conditions. Oga rest a beg. What are the policies you're making? How can the government assist the local farmers? How can you help agriculture graduate and setting up proper farms with mechanized farming tools. There's so many questions Jean Toria is asking the presidency this morning. And now on a lighter note in sports, Super Eagles captain Ahmed Musa has urged fans to stop attacking his colleague Alex Uwobi on social media. In a post on X, formerly Twitter, yesterday night, Musa said the team lost the final match against host Ivory Coast on Sunday, noting that it is unfair to single out Wobi for attacks. Right, now let's see your reactions to this story. Senior girl respondent says, nothing like cyberbullying here. People need to be accountable for what they have been paid for. If you are not competent enough, then leave the space. People died because of this much. Imagine seeing the players play like it's nothing to them because they feel they will get paid. Alex deserves to be dragged because he forgot the importance of this game. If he isn't fit for the job, he should leave. All right. Another reaction still on this one. It is football. Criticism from fans is part of the game. It is only left for him to see it as a motivation to prove them wrong by doing better or choose to fold. And finally on the story, this one says, if it is also unfair that Unwobi went to represent us but ended up disgracing us, I can't apologize. He did look comment section. Carry pride, put on top bad performance. Ah, uh, come on now. Nigerians got no chill at all. Now this one says, let us continue to praise and give words uh, of encouragement to our players instead of condemning personality of individual football uh, as football is a game of luck. That's what he says. Now if we could just have, you know, a couple of will be successes yes if we could have a couple of will be successes you know when he did nigerian proud at some point would really appreciate that oh yes this was in 2022 when star will was on target in nigeria's success and a whole lot more you know that did happen but anyway um this way i get to move over to something beautiful yes and uh, i really truly want to appreciate you for being a part of the conversation this morning on TMI socials. My name is Anur Luwapo Stevens, and I'll see you next time. Say no to cyberbullying.